what is going on guys well, welcome back to hippo super coach and tonight we've got the round six uh round seven review sorry guys flying through the season by the way this is kind of crazy uh round seven review so we scored the two three four oh i believe yep so obviously going to do part two to this um tomorrow or yeah it'd have to be tomorrow but um interesting round i think there's a lot to take out of this because yeah it's just been a shit show to an extent but you know i think my round rank might or my overall rank might go up a little bit but um i wouldn't expect it to go up too much which is annoying anyway um we got a, a little bit right a little bit wrong um let's start off with the back line so she's all ryan and houston i'm really happy with and dacos and yo <laughs> actually my whole back line i'm happy with they all turned up so that helps a lot um Usually when this line goes all right, the rest of my team goes all right, but um, wasn't really the case. Some really poor midfield scores, which is annoying. Um, so let's talk about Jack Steele. Um, Jack Steele is one I'm pretty keen on trading out, but I don't think I can do it this week. Obviously, I have no boost left now, so I have to play a bit smarter. Um, and I think Steele, like, I'm happy to give him one more week. Um, that knee was strapped up very heavily. I did not like um i don't i don't like it it's yeah it's just it's it's a real worry um i don't think like obviously his ceiling's fucked his floor's terrible um this is looking like a failed trade to be honest which is really freaking annoying so it's one i'm gonna monitor next week if he plays bad again and looks like he can't run and whatnot he's gone um, otherwise, you're just going to leak cash and leak points. You know, you can't afford to have someone 620, 630k um, on your field or in your midfield, especially scoring that poorly. Um, so that's annoying. Um, so Butters, look, I thought Butters should have had more. It, it, his stats suggest that he played a lot better than what he scored, but you know, we'll take it. 82, it's whatever. He's had good games pretty much every game besides this one, so can't really hate on him. Bont was okay, Merritt was really good, um, Tom Green, unbelievable, great job for anyone that held him, brought him in, if you, I don't think you would have brought him in, but yeah, nice to finally get a good score from him, and he's really saved my midfield line this week, really, um, Darcy Wilson did a really good job coming off the bench as well, um, fielded closely over Graham, which got that one wrong, 22 points less, but you know, you can't predict Graham to score more, but I really liked Will Graham's game, and I think I want to have him on the field. Um, so we're probably going to have to target forward this week. I don't know. Trades are going to be very hard. We're going to get into it in a second. Um, what I'm planning on doing, but yeah. Um, Crouch 85. This is an annoying one as well. I really wish I just held Roberts and traded Crouch that couple of weeks ago, but I didn't. So we live with it. Um, I, yeah, he's not going to be a top eight mid, but Hopefully 85 is his floor. I thought he'd do better against North, to be honest. His time on ground is terrible, and his kick-to-handball ratio is just as bad. So that's a real worry. That, both of those things are real worries, and I do want to get rid of him sooner rather than later, but hopefully he can pump out some good scores. Um, and then moving on to the Rucks. So Gorn, obviously amazing. Grundy struggled today. Thought Meek beat him pretty convincingly. He still managed to get 83. Um, if Grundy went below 70, I was definitely going Grundy to uh, Sweet this week. I don't, don't give a shit. Grundy's gone. But 83, it's you know it's some, semi-respectable. So I'll probably hold Grundy as much as I don't really want to. And I think I'm going to trade Tom Powell to Sweet via DPP. Um, may, maybe not. Maybe we do go Grundy and we just go for those on-field points. Because like if Sweet's... Well, this is the problem though. If Sweet... If, um, Soldo comes back, Sweet's role gets cooked, and then we can't, we're kind of stuck with Sweet on the field. So running him at R2 might be a little bit too risky for my liking. So maybe we do just go Pow. Pow's gone no matter what, by the way. He's fucking terrible. He's so shit at football. Watching him was in, like excruciating. That, that North Melbourne Adelaide game was so hard to watch. I wanted to delete the app. I wanted to stop following football altogether. Because I had Combin, Power, Nguyen, and Crouch all doing shit. And I was against Dawson, who was going nuts. Thank God he didn't play most of that last quarter. Um, yeah, so obviously happy with Wilson, ha happy with Graham. He's going to make a lot of money for us. Same with Closey, like still 65. It's still a really good score for someone who's only started at 102k. Um, 
Flanders was solid, played halfback. Um, Fife was unreal. Thought he was like, maybe a little bit underscored for 37 disposals, but yeah, really happy we've held Fife. Um, and I, yeah, I don't think Powell can do the games like Fife is, so he's gone. I don't give a fuck about him. Um, played forward as well a lot last week, so yeah, he's just, to be honest, he's just a fraud. He's just not that good. Um, Combin played mostly lockdown, which was really frustrating to watch. This is one I want to get rid of sooner rather than later as well. Garcia 64 will take it. Nguyen, please, I don't want to field you ever again. Probably swing Garcia up to the mid. Um, so Garcia will go where Reed is. And then Reed will come down and field for Nguyen. And then Powell for Sweet. And then hopefully we can bring in a rookie there. Fuck, I mean, we probably have to field a rookie. So, Power for Sweet would give us what? Let's say Power's 420k. Um, uh, 420, so what? 507k? Well, let's say 510k I'll have. And then I could get rid of maybe Combin. I'm pissed off I got rid of Darcy, by the way, guys. That was annoying. Maybe Combin to... I'd love to go Combin with Tahini, but I don't think I'll have enough. 507k. Nah, won't be enough. So, this is annoying. Um, we're going to have to wait and see for sure, but yeah. Um, let's have a look at some rookies on the bubble. We, like I said, we're going to do another video probably this mo uh, tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon, one of the two. Um, really go through all the matchups or all the trades properly because another big week. Um, it could be a double downgrade because I know that we got, so if we go lowest price and we go, uh, we take forward status off and we go, not played every match, what is it? Selected to play and lowest price. So Darcy Jones is one you can go early on. Um, one I really liked the look of was Jake Rogers. So I believe he was a sub in the first game where he scored 28 and then he pumped out a 90 Eight. So, you're going to have a very, very, very low break even. He's a little bit more expensive, 148, 800. And I guess he is a sub risk, but look, he played really well. So, if he's not the sub this week, I'm probably happy to jump on him. So, it could just be a double down, Sweet and Rogers. That's probably likely what it's going to be this week because I don't think we can afford someone like Isaac Heaney. Yeah, so boring trades may be coming up for me this week, but I know a lot of people can boost. Um, like I said, probably wouldn't go early on Jones. Probably wouldn't go near Aaliyah because I think Sam Taylor will take his spot when he comes back. Um, Bin scored eight. Wow. <laughs> he didn't play much, to be fair. Hardiman, you wouldn't go early on him. He scored 50. Um, Cooper Simpson, no. So it looks like there might be a couple of rookies. Like Hardiman and Simpson could be on the bubble next week, so that... They could be decent downgrade options. I thought Hardeman played better than a 50, to be honest. Um, Ramsden scored six. Rip, he was a sub. Drury, no. Um, Naismith, probably not. I think we just fade him altogether. I know he's averaging... Well, he's not going to be averaging that anymore. But no, I think we fade Naismith. Um, yeah, Sweet has to come in. Um, and that is pretty much it for the video, guys. Um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Um, let me know how you guys went. I think 2340. It's probably a little bit above par, I would hope. Um, let's have a look at my leagues. So we've won 14 out of 16. So it's probably a bit above par, I would say. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.